What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over the people also ask section on Google. So how to optimize your website for these questions for some of the keywords that you're trying to rank your website for. This is part 15 of my SEO series. I'm going to end up doing 20 total parts so I can really go in depth on the topic as much as possible. So just to get started, the people also ask section, it looks like this. So when someone is searching something like car wash or how to play chess, there's going to be a section here. People also ask, and there's going to be a bunch of related questions to whatever the search term that you type in. Now it might be an open-ended search term like car wash, where that could be about people looking for car washes. That could be look, people looking for car wash tips, people that are looking to open a car wash business. So something like this is going to be really open-ended and then something like how to play chess. You're looking for something really specific. So you're going to see some of these people also ask questions are going to be much more related. So let's get started by coming over here to Google. And one thing I want to go over first is if you're trying to rank for a keyword like keyword research, you shouldn't just come here, look at these questions and people also ask and try to answer each individual question. I would not recommend doing that. And the other thing I want to go over real quick is let's just say I go to Google and I do a search like mortgage calculator. I'm obviously looking for a mortgage calculator. And if we come here, this mortgage calculator right here is created by Google. So Google puts this up when someone does search a keyword like this. They have it for a bunch of different searches where they're going to have their own tool here that people can use. And I can use the mortgage calculator directly through Google. This is not the same as the people also ask. And then the other thing is if I'm trying to use this mortgage calculator and I come over to Google and I do mortgage interest rates today, you might see something like this where we have a featured snippet directly from bankrate.com that's giving current mortgage interest rates for today. So if we click through on this URL and we open it, it's pulling this data directly from this table, which was updated today at 6.30 a.m. So I'm not gonna be talking about any of those things today. I'm really just gonna be focused on these people also ask sections. So when someone types in something like car wash, you're gonna see our touchless car wash is bad for your car, our automatic car wash is bad for your car. And if we click on this, it's gonna give a little bit of information and then a URL. So ultimately what we're talking about today is how to get your URL here more often so that you can drive more of this traffic directly back to your website. So coming back over here, the first thing that I wanna go over is what to do use the questions to guide the topics that you're writing about so there's a perfect example here when we're looking at car wash and there's our touchless car wash is bad for your car and you can see right here this is the exact topic of this article now let's look down here at automatic car washes bad for your car will an automatic car wash hurt my car so to give you a quick idea what you can do is create articles that answer these questions with some details about why they might be bad for your car or good for your car why they might take off your paint. So using some of these people also ask questions, you can find some different topics to write about and things that people are actually searching and looking for information when they do search Google. So you could also do an article like touchless car washes versus automatic car washes, which is better for your car. So an article like that is gonna be likely to show up in this people also ask section because you're answering both of these different questions here. Now you might not show up for both questions, but it's just gonna give you a good topic to write about. So what you wanna do is use the questions to guide the topics that you are writing about. What you don't wanna do is create a list of questions and answer them one by one in your blog posts. So for example, coming back over here to car wash, what you don't wanna do is answer this question, this question, how profitable is a car wash? It's a completely different topic. How do car washes work? Again, a completely different topic. How often should you watch your car? So again, that's a different topic as well. Now, maybe you have a huge guide about car washes and you want to touch on some of these different subjects, but ultimately what you don't want to do is just try to answer each question one by one. Same thing is if I come back over here to the keyword research example, I don't want to answer every single one of these questions one by one in my keyword research article because something like keyword research tools, how to do free keyword research, SEO keyword research, we're starting to expand in some different topics. So that's what you don't want to do. And then looking at another search over here, so how to play chess, one of the examples I showed in the beginning, how is the game of chess played? What are the basic rules of chess? How does the horse move in chess? So if you create a huge guide about how to play chess, you're going to be able to answer a lot of these different questions here. But what you don't want to do is just take each individual question and say is chess hard to learn no chess is not hard to learn because that's not how google is finding articles for this people also ask section if we just click here on is chess hard to learn you're going to see the article that comes up is top 10 myths about chess keep coming down can a pawn take a queen 
rules of chess so ultimately what you're trying to do is create some of these pages like rules of chess so you can answer some of these questions in detail but you don't want to just take these specific questions word by word and then answering them one by one because that's not how it works and that's not how google is looking for what people are searching they're looking for user intent and they're looking for resources like this top 10 myths about chess so people can learn is chess hard to learn and then some different myths as well that might have to do with learning chess or playing chess so coming back over here, what not to do, do not create a list of questions and just answer them one by one in your blog post. You do want to answer the questions, but it's not like you want to copy and paste the questions that are coming up because they're going to be about different topics a lot of times as you continue to expand the list. So continuing to expand on questions, what to do is click on questions to find more related questions. So when you click on a question, it's going to expand the list and find some more relevant questions to the one that you clicked on. If we come over here and we're looking at people also ask under the car wash section, one of the questions here is how profitable is a car wash? So that's someone who's specifically looking to open a car wash business. So if we click on this question and we can read it, we close it. One of the things you're going to see here is, is car wash a good business? So some different things that people are typing in. If we click on this one again, we open it and we close it. Our car wash is recession proof. How do you start a car wash? So looking at all these different questions here, if you want to look for more about maybe automatic car washes, or if you're looking at how often should you wash your car, if you're trying to create content around some of these different topics, you can look in the people also ask section and find more related questions. So if we're looking at how profitable is a car wash and seeing which page ranks, you're going to see it's someone that's talking about how to start a car wash. So everything you need to know about starting a car wash. So this is how you can kind of create more and more content and find more relevant questions to the content that you're creating. So coming over here to keyword research, let's just say, how do I research keywords for free? If I click on this, it's going to keep pulling up more and more questions related to free keyword research. Same thing here with SEO keyword research. So if you're trying to expand some of the questions, what you want to do is click on questions that you're creating content about to find more and more relevant questions as you continue to expand the list. Now, what not to do is create content that is unrelated to the overall theme of your website. So if you have a website specifically about how to wash your car, or touchless car wash is bad for your car, automatic car washes, all these different things about essentially how to wash your car, you might not want to write about how to open your own car wash business. Because if you have a website that's focused on maybe selling car wash products, you're selling soaps, you're selling different things that's going to help people to wash their car, you probably don't want to write as much about the car wash business because the people that are visiting your website are probably not looking to open their own car wash business. They're just looking to wash their car. So what you don't want to do is just find some of these people also ask questions and just answer them for the sake of answering them. Now, if they're related to your website, if they're related to the theme of your website and they're going to help drive more revenue for your products and services, then you want to write about those things. But however, something like is car wash a good business? If you're just writing about car wash products, you probably don't need to write about whether or not a car wash is a good business unless you're selling products specifically to businesses rather than just to consumers. So what you don't want to do is just find questions and create content that's unrelated to the overall theme, unrelated to essentially what your customers would be looking up. You want to create resources that are going to be the most helpful for your customers. You don't want to create resources just for the sake of creating content if it's not going to continue to drive more people to your website that are going to eventually become customers now last but not least what to do focus on keywords and questions that you already rank high for so if we come over here one of the areas where I rank for my own website is my website floorjackcenter.com so when someone comes to Google they type in what is a floor jack one of the questions down here is what is a floor jack used for so if we click on this and open it you're gonna see it's gonna open up my floor jacks complete guide for 2020 it pulls this directly from my website so if we come over here you're gonna see if we scroll down what are floor jacks? So the question here isn't exactly the same. You can see what is a floor jack used for? What are floor jacks? And then I just type out what a floor jack is used for to lift up a part of a vehicle so repairs can be performed underneath. So coming back over here, focusing on keywords and questions that you already rank high for, what you wanna do and what I recommend doing is use Google Search Console. So I'm in Google Search Console here for floorjackcenter.com. I'm looking at my top search terms that are driving impressions to my website. So something like trolley jack here is in the position 12.1. 
So what I probably want to do is come over to Google, do a search for Trolley Jack, and then we're going to scroll down and come here to the People Also Ask section, and then make sure that I am answering some of these questions in my article that's specifically about Trolley Jacks. So are Trolley Jacks safe? What is a Trolley Jack? What is the difference between a Trolley Jack and a Floor Jack? How does a Trolley Jack work? So some of these things are topics that I can create new content about, or they're subtopics that I can continue to expand on in my own content. I don't need to specifically type out each question. What is a trolley jack? Are trolley jacks safe? I don't have to do that. Like I said earlier, you shouldn't just go through and type the exact question in your articles. But if I do come here under the people also ask and I start looking at some of the questions that people are looking for, it's going to help me find some more ways to expand the content that is on my website. So you're going to see when it comes to trolley jacks, most of these other ones down here are not related specifically to trolley jacks. So I would just want to make sure that I'm answering some of these questions within my content and making sure that it's completely natural. And the other thing you could always do is if I'm looking at what is the difference here and we click on it, you can see this is actually pulling in from my website as well. Trolley Jack versus Floor Jack. So rather than answering this specific question in my Trolley Jacks guide, I can create a completely new piece of content about this question. And instead of just answering the question, Trolley Jack versus Floor Jack, which is essentially what this person is asking. So that's the way you want to handle the people also ask section. What you don't want to do, again, very similar, but you don't want to just create like an FAQ page for the purpose of answering people also ask questions. So if I'm, again, talking about trolley jacks, I don't want to go through and answer each individual question on one page. And the reason you don't want to do that is because if someone is looking for what is a trolley jack, you can answer that in one article. If someone's looking for what is the difference between a trolley and a floor jack, then I can create my own piece of content here rather than just listing each individual question and potentially losing this portion right here on Google search and losing out on some traffic because the people also ask section is ranking really high here directly underneath the shopping ads and directly underneath the YouTube videos. You're going to see people also ask here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you can also use some of these people also ask questions to find YouTube video ideas. So if we come back over here and we're looking at what is a floor jack and we scroll down and we look at how does a floor jack work. So we click right here. What you're going to see is it's giving us a video car maintenance. How does a floor jack work? So what you can also try to do is create videos for these questions because ultimately what Google and what YouTube, what they're trying to do is give you the best possible results when you're typing in a search. So for something like what is a floor jack, people can find that information through text much easier than through a video. But how does it work? Showing a video for how it works is going to be much easier. So understanding user intent is a really important part of answering questions. And ultimately what you want to do is just find some of the things that people are looking for so you can expand on the resources that you're giving to potential website visitors so that you can drive more of that traffic back to your website and continue to increase your traffic, increase your business revenue by creating these resources that are specifically answering the questions that people are looking for when it comes to your products and services. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.